If you're new to running and you struggle to keep going and not stop for a walking break, don't worry. There is actually a method that involves running and walking together. I'm Anna and today on The Running Channel, I'm going to introduce you to Jeff. It's unbelievable, Jeff! Now you might have already clocked it that I'm here on my own. I haven't actually got Jeff here with me, but Jeff is the name of the run walk method, which is named after Jeff Galloway, who was a 10,000 meter Olympian. It's often also referred to the Galloway method or the run walk method. He came up with this technique back in 1974 and it's been used by millions of runners ever since. The reason for developing it was to get more non-runners into the sport because Jeff owned a running shop and wanted more customers. Great idea, Jeff. He started up some classes and the majority of people who came along hadn't run in at least five years and most had never done any regular exercise at all in their life. His aim was to get them to finish a five or a 10K, but after seeing them out on the first lap of a track, he realized he'd have a bit of work to do and that they'd need to take walking breaks if they were ever going to manage it. This was when he came up with the huff and puff rule pretty simple all you've got to do is stop and take a walking break as soon as you're breathing it feels like you're huffing and puffing this method of training led to fewer injuries and once the group had nailed the 10ks they went on to complete longer distances and were even clocking faster times than some veteran runners who didn't stop for walk breaks Jeffing is a technique often associated with beginner runners, but all kinds of people use it, whether they're coming back from injury or if they've been running for a really long time. Jeffing is not running until you're absolutely exhausted and then stopping to take a walk break. There is more structure to it than that. And in order to have a look at that, we're gonna to need to head inside and do a bit of maths. So Jeff suggests working out your ratio, which is the amount you run versus the amount that you walk, by putting a timed mile into the algorithm on his website, which is known as the magic mile. Jeff Galloway's worked with over 300,000 runners over 40 years, and from this, he's compared hundreds of performances that have led to his prediction formula based on a one mile time trial. So the theory behind it is that every two weeks or so, you run a measured mile at a good hard pace, and then use the time that it takes you to do that to then work out your long run pace and also your run to walk ratios. By combining running with walking, you can actually find that you can speed up your times. The average for people using the run walk method is seven minutes across a half marathon and a whopping 13 minutes for people running marathons. Now, the great thing about it is that it breaks your run down into manageable chunks. It also reduces the risk of injury and can help you stop getting aches and pains afterwards. And when you're running and walking and introducing those walk breaks into your runs, it gives your body time to produce endorphins, which can help you to recover both mentally and physically. The run walk method is great for beginners who don't quite have the cardio fitness yet to run for long periods of time, because it means that you can carry on going for a bit longer and build up to those longer runs. It's also great for people who are coming back from a long time on the sidelines if you've been injured as well, because that'll help you build in some more regular sessions. And almost controversially, it's also good for intermediate and advanced runners too, as Jeff Galloway himself says it can even bring down your race times. If you're ready to give Jeffing a go for yourself, here's a quick recap. Be consistent, make sure that you're splitting your running and walking breaks evenly throughout your run. Don't leave them all to the end because by that point, your legs will already be tired and it's not quite going to work properly. Run a bit slower. If you start off your running slower, especially in training runs, it means that when you're inserting those walking breaks in, you'll have a bit left in the tank to speed up towards the end. Walk faster. Yes, we're talking about walking, but it's not just a leisurely stroll in the park. Make sure you're keeping the pace up when you're doing your walking breaks. It's not just for beginners. Veteran runners and people who are coming back from injury can also benefit from using the run-walk method. And keep it interesting. Using the run-walk method breaks up longer runs into shorter, manageable chunks. Hopefully you found this video a useful introduction to Jeffing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Running Channel and we'll see you next time.